So are you looking for ways to optimize your sales funnel and maximize your conversions? In this video, we're going to be going over five things that you need to do to drive more leads, to sell more of your products, to sell more of your services, and ultimately make more money. But before we get into it, if you haven't already, please subscribe, please leave a like or leave a comment. It helps for my videos to get found a lot easier on YouTube, and I really appreciate it. All right, so the number one thing that you need to do is to simplify your funnel, right? Simplifying your funnel by reducing the number of steps that a visitor has to take by reducing the number of forms that you have or the number of distractions on your landing pages. This can significantly increase your conversion rates and your opt-in rates. And you really want to make it as easy as possible for uh, for visitors to complete the desired action that you want them to take. This will increase the likelihood that they will convert into leads and into sales, right? All right, number two is to use social proof in your funnel. All right, now using social proof in the form of customer testimonials or reviews or case studies will help to increase the trust and credibility that you have which will ultimately increase in the likelihood of them purchasing your product or service as long as you are targeting them correctly, right? All right, so number three is to hyper-focus on who you're targeting, right? Knowing who you're targeting and crafting offers that meet the specific needs and goals uh, is really, really key to creating an effective sales funnel, right? You should spend a lot of your time researching your target audience, understanding what their pain points really are, and creating offers and products that are tailored specifically to them, right? It is There is something so powerful in creating an offer and speaking in a way that uh, connects with someone over video or over email, there's something so so special when you connect with them, when you know their pain points, when you know what their struggles are, when you know what keeps them up at night, right? There is a significant connection that you can create by doing just that and knowing who your target audience is. All right. Number four is using clear and compelling call to actions, right? CTAs. So strong CTAs are, they clearly communicate the value proposition of your product or your service and can help to increase engagement. They can help to increase uh, conversions. And you really want to use action-oriented language and placing your call to actions in prominent locations throughout your funnel. You don't want them to disappear on your landing pages or throughout your funnel. You want them to be right where people need them to be, where they need them to see it. And again, actionable CTAs, right? You need them to, you need to hold their hand along this process. All right. And number five is test, test, test. Never start, te never stop testing, right? Never stop testing and always Always understand that what you think might be right might not be completely what your audience or what the the target audience will resonate with. All right, you want to test and you want to test your sales funnel by really experimenting why with different elements of the funnel, right? Different uh, different copy, different design, maybe different offers. This can help you to identify what really works in a, in a significant way with your audience, right? You might get a lot of sales with one product, uh, or you might get a lot of opt-ins with one landing page, but if you test and maybe you find something that works, uh, you know, two times as, uh, twice as good, you will make twice as much money. You'll have twice as many leads. Like you need to continue to test. If something's working, that's great. There's always room for improvement. And by using the data that you collect, you can really make informed decisions and you can continuously improve your conversion rates, improve your opt-in rates, and ultimately generate more revenue for your business. All right, so I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope you got a lot out of it. If you did, you're gonna like these two videos also. So make sure to check them out, make sure to subscribe, leave a comment, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.